Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I want to talk about these little SR602 modules. These are PIR or passive infrared I think is what they're called modules. Um, this one here is absolutely tiny if I bring in a ruler here. Um, there we go in the uh, metric and imperial absolutely tiny I think um, I think they say that this middle section is about eight mils across I think that's what they're saying yeah very small so uh, these things are quite worth your look but first and foremost um, I opened one of these up on the mailbag that I got these in and the sensor itself was absolutely filthy I'm just gonna pop this open I don't know if you can see that but that is also filthy so I'm just gonna clean it off real quick with some rubbing alcohol and then we're ready to take a look much better now I don't know if you can see that but that is absolutely clean all right First and foremost, um, this thing, there's the little uh, diagram that I did. In the back, just remember these two little notches here and where these uh, three wires come out. So first of all, the top resistor here, they're 0603 sized, that is to adjust the sensitivity. Um, right now there is a zero ohm resistor in there. Uh, down here on the side of the other notch is the delay resistor. Anywhere between 2.5 seconds to one hour the um, information says and there is a chart and I'll show you that shortly. Over here there is a room for a photodiode. Now this has to be a photodiode, not a LDR, not, not a light dependent resistor. This has to be a photodiode and uh, that is to make sure it doesn't work when there's sun out. If you want it to work during the day, you just leave these out the way it is from the factory. Then you've got three pins over here. You've got the output, you've got the ground, which is nice because if you flip the plug around, all you're doing is uh, grounding the output, so you're not damaging anything. Then in the middle, 3.3 to 15 volts. And this here's a little chart that they give you. So you might need to uh, pause to take a look, but uh, you got your resistor here that you'll set up. and It'll give you uh, an approximate delay like this. So the zero ohm resistor will give you two and a half seconds delay. And the higher the resistor value, the more delay you're going to get. I don't know if it's just charging a capacitor or something like that. The only thing I will caution you is down here, uh, it says 316 meg, and the other one is 294k. I believe that's 316k. So be careful on that one. But yeah, that'll give you delays. Uh, this is tested up to 4200 seconds. Uh, divide that by 60 to get the minutes. So let's take a look at the back side of this so we can see where those resistors go. And here we are zoomed in just a little bit. And there you can see that the sensor is clean. Also, if you'll notice, the sensor has a little tab down here. And that tab corresponds to on this plastic cover where those two little fingers go. So it seems to go little pattern on the cover seems to go diagonal over the sensor. I don't know if you can see there, there's a little diagonal line going from down here to up there, sort of. Well, I feel like that's so you can get a good spread left to right and up and down. Now, if we take a look at the back side here, so here are those little resistors, and I'm hoping that you're in focus here. So I'm going to put the pins over on this side and that there is a little resistor for sensitivity and this down here is the resistor for the time. 
Then you have your output, your ground, and your 3.3 .3 to 15 volt in. And the reason why you can put a large voltage range is because we have a voltage regulator right here. There's not much else in here. There's a couple resistors here. Um, this resistor on the side apparently is to trim in the sensitivity. But since I don't have any sensitivity data, I'm not sure what kind of trimming you're going to be doing. And these two holes here are for the photodiode. So only thing left to do is to demonstrate a circuit. And let's do that now. And so this is the super simple circuit I have knocked up. So 5 volts there, ground there on the SR602 uh, module. That's not a 0, that's an O for output, so positive, negative. Output, uh, 270 ohm resistor, we got an LED, and ground. So that should work just fine, and here it is. So we're just going to give that light 2.5 seconds to turn off. It is off, but the problem is as soon as I move, it is activated. So here we go. Boom. It's on. It turns off. And then it's got a cooldown time of about 2.5 seconds. The amount of time it is on for uh, is not adjustable. I believe that's the part. There we go. Oh. Okay, so that works just perfectly. And um, if you want to do more than just light and LED, I've got some other circuits for you. So same deal, uh, positive, negative, 5 volts ground. You can go up to uh, 15 volts here, so don't worry too much about that. But the output here going to the base of a transistor and the emitter going to ground and the collector going to a load. Here I have uh, just a light bulb that could be really anything. I've got um, these are 12 volt automotive bulbs that would work with that. It will all depend on your transistor at that point. And this will actually turn on the LED when uh, this is active, when there's an output on here. And the same thing if you want have a MOSFET, you can just do the same thing. You put a resistor, a gate resistor. Um, for the MOSFET, you may want to either pull it up or pull it down. So you know, either you put another, like, a, I don't know, like a 10K down or a 10K up, just so that the gate is not floating. But I do believe that the module will actually have, you know, some sort of floating on it. And uh, this here, th this lamp could be anything. This could be the coil of a relay, for example. And if you have the coil of a relay active with this on, that means you can actually control things like you know, 110 volt lights or 220 volts if you're in a uh, country with 220 mains. So really, as soon as you know that this part here can be basically anything, you can use these modules for absolutely anything. So that's it. Just a quick little video about these modules. You will see them in a project on this channel very shortly. And I hope that you guys will use them in your own projects. And if you do, let me know in the comments below or tweet at me somewhere on there will be my Twitter handle. Thanks for watching.